Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session, Wednesday, the uh, 29th of March, 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Singler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesingler.com, and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so an impressive rally in European markets today, German DAX breaching and breaking through at 12.160 zone. Very, very impressive if you bring up the chart, the German DAX here. You can see that we've broken above, as you can see here, key resistance on the 60 minute and the daily chart as well. Very, very impressive into the bull zone. Okay, so bull certainly reigning supreme there above the 12,160. Looking at the weekly chart, the German DAX now, I think the near real next uh, test really is seen at 12,380, and we're not too far from that at all. So, again, keep an eye on the uh, German DAX there on the daily chart. Very, very impressive. Negated the HS formation. Certainly very impressive. Now, the only argument for the downside really is that we've left unfilled gaps behind, and that certainly isn't a healthy sign. Well, given the fact that we made a higher high for the year, very, very impressive, folks. I mean, we've rallied all the way from 11,500. We're now sitting almost at 12,250, so almost 750 points, which is very, very impressive. And given the fact that we only started the rally from mid mid Feb, so very very impressive within that six weeks time frame okay now in terms of <clears throat> the economic data asian markets overnight first of all certainly mixed okay uh, the shanghai and the uh, well shanghai finishing negative overnight whilst the nikkei finishing more or less flat and that certainly isn't a positive sign in terms of the the actual rally itself that shows that the rally is faltering and the rally itself remains weak, okay, and no follow through from the Asian markets, okay. Obviously, we've had Brexit today, so with the Scottish vote as well, arguing for a uh, refer second referendum, certainly is net net negative for Europe again. Uh, with the uh, Brexit uh, obviously in full swing now, again, that certainly is perceived as being negative for Europe too, okay. Now, today we've had overnight, we've had retail sales, certainly uh, retail data from uh, Japan, certainly weaker than expected. We've had a whole a dovish. Uh, rhetoric from the fed members which again from my perspective certainly uh, should, uh, certainly did help lift the market but again it hurts the yield side of the equation therefore the banks will come under pressure uh, german import price is certainly increasing as well again that certainly isn't good news given the fact that that will lead to inflation inflation means higher euro higher euro obviously is perceived as being negative for the equity market so uh, given the fact that it hurts the uh, export side of the equation therefore reduces jobs Okay, so certainly take take that into consideration too. Uh, Italian consumer confidence data more or less in line, nothing of any major importance. Now UK uh, mortgage lending and uh, consumption patterns as well, or uh, mortgage I think it was more, yeah mortgage lending and uh, uh, consumer patterns certainly on the weaker side just to confirm. Okay, ZEW data as well, slightly beating expectations. Now, we're looking forward to Mr. Fed Evan speaking in the next 25 minutes. We've got pending home sales. We've got Tusk speech in 49 minutes as well with regards to Brexit. Again, that will be net, net negative as well. We have EIA data as uh, also. We have Mr. Fred Rosengren speech and Mr. Williams as well. So it'll be interesting to see how the, the markets react to comments from there. Okay, now, Asian markets were really were the key and they were certainly down overnight. Let's just elaborate and go into the German DAX further. A 10 minute chart, from my perspective, looking to make a lower high now, and then obviously start to make a lower low, looking to potentially target that gap fill at 12,150 on the German DAX. Okay, let's bring up the French CAC here. Let's see exactly where we stand. The French CAC certainly testing that high there at 5,057. You have gap fill at 5,100. It'll be interesting to see if we can actually go ahead and close that gap. 60 minute chart on the, uh, the actual. Uh, French cap, we've moved lower, close the gap, and then we've subsequently bounced. So, if you were a bull, then that certainly will be consider, well, considered to be very bullish. Okay, so again, bear that in mind. But from my understanding, really, there's no real catalyst for this market to move higher. If anything, import prices certainly came in stronger today, and therefore, one would argue that you are looking for tapering, or the argument for tra tapering is certainly stronger. And therefore, you're looking for risk aversion. But this market certainly seems to defy that uh, logic altogether. Okay, so very, very tricky right now. So from my understanding, certainly French CAC looking weak. Uh, certainly will show signs of weakness given the ultimate intermarket analysis approach. As you can see here, we failed to test that double top or even make a higher high. And that certainly isn't a uh, convincing signal given the fact that it certainly wants to go lower and close the gaps at 5039. 
Okay, now in terms of the uh, FTSE 100, let's just bring the FTSE now. FTSE has bounced off that uh, 7320 zone, back into that uh, 7330 zone now on the FTSE itself. Again, it will be uh, tra tracked and uh, certainly will be held by the FIB resistance. You've got FIB, FIB 38, then you've got FIB uh, 79, or should we say 70, uh, sorry, 50%. Then you have uh, 61 and 75. So again, those are all the key resistance zones that will certainly come into play. Okay, so keep an eye out for those. Okay, so again, FTSE itself, uh, my understanding really is that it certainly is bearish, given the fact that the daily chart certainly has put in a topping tail. You have a H&S formation with a target of 7085. You are certainly looking to move lower. That's my interpretation here thus far. 60 minute jar on the FTSE itself. We've certainly seemed to have held up here resistance up here. Whether that's a fake, a fake out above, that's a different question altogether. Uh, again, looking for the FTSE to flush down to the 7280, possibly even the 7260 zone on the back of obviously excess oil, oil supply. Also, given the fact that we've had uh, 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 comments uh, with regards to the uh, OPEC ministers potentially extending and with that, that certainly has been negated by stronger uh, oil uh, supply data okay FTSE itself again like I said looking to potentially top out here at the 7350 zone 7360 and then look, 10 minute chart let's just quickly have a look at this you are looking at a, uh, a lower high really than looking for a lower low and the, ter and the daily chart really has that HNS formation so certainly expecting that to play out and obviously risk aversion for UK equities. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trade needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.